Hi everyone, welcome to Grand Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to convert a KVM Windows virtual machine to a vSphere virtual machine. In other words, virtual to virtual conversion using VMware vCenter Converter standalone 6.4 version. As we are aware, VMware vCenter Converter Standalone is a free version and we can download it from a VMware website. So VMware vCenter Converter Standalone allows us to take one of a variety of virtual machines and convert, convert it into a new VMware virtual machine and in addition provides an easy to use solution that automates the process of creating a VMware virtual machines from physical machine running on Windows and Linux operating systems and other virtual machine formats. Other virtual machine means it can be a KVM virtual machine or a Hyper-V virtual machine and any type of virtual format we can able to convert into a VMware infrastructure. If you see the VMware vCenter converter use cases, the source virtual machines include physical machine, either Windows or Linux, and the power on virtual machine, it can be a KVM virtual machine, kernel virtual machine, it's a open source KVM, open source virtualization software name is KVM. And the Hyper-V, that is Microsoft Hyper-V, hypervisor name, Hyper-V. Even Hyper-V virtual machine, we can convert into a VMware infrastructure, VM. And even power of virtual machine, we can convert into the destination virtual machine. So most of conversion types are, we call it as physical to virtual, virtual to virtual, or any image to virtual. These use cases we can perform. So now let me quickly log into the lab system and I will show you how we can install VMware Converter and how we can start convert a KVM Windows VM to a VMware vSphere VM. So once we log into the lab system, we have a one of the KVM VM, KVM Remote Console is Virtual Machine Manager. Within Virtual Machine Manager, the VM name is OCP4 Jump4. It ends with Jump4. So when you see the same system, I logged in. So if you go to the system properties, we can see OCP4 Jump4. So Jump4 is already connected. It is running with Windows Server 2016 version. And as I mentioned, we can download VMware Converter 6.4 version. VMware vCenter Converter Standalone 6.0 version, we can download from VMware website. And with interest of our time, I already downloaded. So once it is downloaded, just right click the, just double click here, it will start install the vCenter Converter. So installation is pretty straightforward. We can just to follow the on-screen instructions. So it is extracting the VMware vCenter converter standalone file. It seems I clicked a cup. Yeah, it's loaded. Click on next and end user patent agreement. Click on next and license agreement accept and installation. Click on next. We are installing the local installation next and user experience settings. We can just uncheck. Click on next and ready to install. because there is a two installations initiated. I just stopped one, one method. I'm just using one widget only. So installing VMware vCenter installation is completed. So once we check this box, it will automatically start the console. Okay, so if you see here, welcome to 
VMware vCenter converter standalone. So we can able to convert physical machines, VMware virtual machines, Hyper-V virtual machine. So just click on convert machine option. See, we can see the four options, source system, destination, options summary so first one is source system the source system can be a power on machine or power off machine but in our scenario that power on machine can be a remote view machine or a remote linux machine or local machine but our scenario is local machine and we can view the source details it's a ocp4 jump4 machine okay now click on close click on next and we have to provide our vcenter server details so 192.168.243.45 i'm just giving the vcenter details Lo administrator login and password so click on next ignore So let me re-enter the password. Click on next. Okay, now click on next. And I'm choosing that any one cluster we can choose in the destination. So I'm selected the cluster as cluster two. So click on next. And it is showing the data to copy is error symbol. So just click on edit and click on advanced tab. We have to change the source volume go to the destination layout with the destination it's detected as esx8 local data store better to change it to the shared data store which is nimble and the disk type it is default selected as thick you can change it to thin and disk sizes let's keep it as it is so now select the devices and go to the data that error is cleared so that means we can able to select the all the devices a better cpu memory disk and all if you want to modify you can modify for example i just modified the disk type from thick to thin and cpu memory if you want to increase you can increase or else leave it as it is and even the services also leave it as it is just click on next so we have completed three steps source destination and options and finally within a source our source machine is power on machine and destination we are just using the same name if you want to modify the name we can just go back and modify the name and the cpu memory there is no changes we are just going with the same configuration but only change what we did is it is showing default thick provision we change it to thin provision okay so destination vmware tools installation it is showing no later we can install it okay so now click on finish so once we click on finish the conversion job is submitting so when we select here you can see the source machine and destination machine windows server 2016 is the source destination is same machine and start time is current time and the destination time it is taking approximately one hour three minutes when you select this job it will show you the running status currently running one percent and in the log highlights we can see here okay and similarly uh, the it is currently this jump machine is jump four similarly i initiated jump one jump two jump three as well suppose if you see from our kvm server within a kvm server See, we have a jump one, jump two, jump three, and jump four. Jump one, two, three, I already initiated conversion. If you see within our vCenter, jump one, jump two, jump three, just now we initiated the jump four. Even jump four conversion is in progress. It's created the VM name. Okay, so jump four also created. But the conversion may take a while. If you see the other one, let's say jump three currently it is showing as 46 percent the remaining time 58 minutes if you see the jump one the jump one status is completed and same way if i uh, same procedure i followed for jump two it is currently 43 minutes the remaining time is one hour 41 minutes but we have an idea how we can initiate the conversion how to install the vmware converter tool and how we can start converting the source virtual machine to destination vmware vspa virtual machine so once the conversion is completed we can just power on the virtual machine and we can turn off the 
source VM and turn on the destination VM. Okay, so it's a pretty straight forward. And once the VM is power on, we can install the VMware tools. Okay, see currently our just now initiated jump four, it is currently showing as 3% complete. Okay, so let's back to the slide. So hope you understand the how we can convert KVM VM to VMware infrastructure VM. Okay, so that's it. So this portion only we initiated. So if you are want to know about the other VMware vSphere concepts like vSphere 7, ARIA automation, and storage concepts, data production concepts, and also if you are interested for a Red Hat OpenShift container platform, you can just search in the Google uh, YouTube channel and Grand Cloud Garage, go to the playlist tab, you can find the some other useful content. Okay, so thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.